Hey everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I have something very special. I'm calling this Rahab's Scarf and it was inspired by a story in the Bible and I will post the references in the video description below. But this is a scarf for a woman who was a hero in my eyes and um, I really enjoy putting this together. It features basket weave down the center and on the sides and as the bottom ribbing. And it also features my new cable changing technique. And I hope you enjoy this. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna need. For this project, I'm going to be using three hanks of this yarn. And you can go ahead and I will have the information in the video description should you wish to check out this Indie Dyers yarns. And this is called Knobby Stash. It is a fingering or a sock weight yarn, 85% superwash merino wool, 15% Donegal. This is a two-ply yarn, a machine hand wash dry flat, 438 yards per hank or 100 gram. And this is called Oxblood. And the number 0426-2, I believe, is the color number for this particular type of yarn. I'm also recommending that you have a size G or 6 or 4.00 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of sharp scissors and a yarn needle handy. As an option I'm recommending that you have four stitch markers to mark the cabling sections. If you don't have these don't worry about it. You can also use contrasting pieces of yarn but the stitch markers are an excellent investment. To begin, we are going to start with our slip knot, and we are going to chain a beginning chain of 54. For row number one, we are going to work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, into that fourth chain. And we're going to work a double crochet in each chain across. I generally work in the side of the chain. That is my personal preference. But if you prefer to work in the back bump of the chain, go ahead and do that now because there will not be a perimeter round at the end. So whatever you um, see at the end of this row, that is the way the bottom of the scarf will appear. So go ahead and work those double crochets all the way across. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 51 double crochets, and that is not including the chain three at the beginning. I am not including that as a double crochet in any of my stitch counts in this pattern. Okay, let's go ahead and turn. For row number two, this will begin the two stitch basket weave. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip this first stitch and starting in the next stitch, we're going to work our hook around the body to form the front post double crochet. Let's do that again. Wrap around that stitch just like a, a belt and you just complete the double crochet as you normally would. For the next two stitches, we're gonna come in the back door, hook goes around the stitch, and we complete the double crochet on the back side. This is a back post double crochet. So we work two of those, one over each of those two stitches. And then we're gonna alternate this all the way across the row, two front post, double crochets and then two back post double crochets. If you need more information on how to do post stitches, check my channel. I have many of these in stitch video form. You can just do a really quick search and that should come up for you if you're watching on the YouTube channel. Row two ends by working two front post double crochets and then we're going to work a half double crochet worked right into that chain 
I'm working into the entire chain, not into a particular loop. Let's take a look at what we have. I think this yarn is going to be delightful for this scarf. Okay, now we're going to chain two. This is to start row number three. And we are going to reverse the direction of the weave at this point. So we're going to skip that half double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet and a front post double crochet in the next stitch as well. Into the next two stitches, we're going to work a back post double crochets. Again, we are reversing what we see. And again, two front post double crochets. And then two back post double crochets. So go ahead and work this all the way across the row. At the end of row three, we end by working a front post double crochet in the last two stitches and a half double crochet worked into that turning chain. Now for row number four, let's turn, chain two. And for this row, we are going to go with what we see. So as you look at this, you see two back post double crochets. So let's work two back post double crochets. And then two front post double crochets. The goal is to work two rows of each as far as the direction of the basket weave. Now the reason we didn't do that on the very first two rows is because this is the foundation row and this foundation row serves as the first row of course of that basket weave. We did not work the basket weave stitch but it became part of the basket weave after working the second second row. So I just wanted to be clear as to how this works. So what we are going to do for the next, um, for the first eight rows, is just to alternate after every two rows. So again, we're going to go with what our eyes see. Whenever we see back post double crochets, work a back post. When you see front post double crochets, work a front post. And again, this is row number four. Row number four ends by working two back post double crochets and then again half double worked into that turning chain. Let's stop and take a look at what we have. Now for row number five we are going to chain two and by looking at it we can tell that it is time to reverse our stitches again. So when we see the front post double crochets, we're going to work back post double crochets. And then over the next two stitches, we are going to work front post double crochets. So let's go ahead and work that all the way across. Two back post double crochets followed by two front post double crochets. And you can see how the basket weave is unfolding quite nicely. Row five ends by working two back post double crochets, followed by a half double crochet worked into that turning chain. Let's take a look. Okay, now we're going to turn, chain two. Row six is just going to continue what you see. So we will start with a front post double crochet on each of those next two stitches, followed by back post double crochet, just maintaining what you see in regards to the post stitches during this row.
Row 6 ends with 2 front post double crochets and a half double worked once again into that chain 3 and that is going to continue throughout the entire project. Okay, let's talk about rows 7 and 8 because you should have the hang of this by now. For rows, for row number 7, we are going to chain 2 and we're going to reverse the stitch again. We're going to work front post double crochets and then two back post double crochets, two front post, two back post. And then once we turn again at the end of row 7, we are just going to duplicate what we see. If we see a front post, we work a front post. If we work we see a back post, we will work a back post. So go ahead and complete rows seven and eight, and then I'll show you what I have. This is what you should have after completing eight rows. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Now the real fun begins. We are going to begin establishing the pattern that we are going to do throughout using the specially designed cables. We're going to chain two and we are going to continue the basket weave, the two stitch basket weave throughout the entire project over the first six stitches and the last six stitches. And of course, I'm not including that half double crochet in that number. Okay, so we are going to start row nine with a chain two and then we are going to work two back posts, double crochets. It's time to reverse it. Now, throughout the pattern, you're going to have to be careful to reverse after every two stitches. So you just want to maintain the same pattern stitch that you see here. Then we work two front post double crochets, followed by two more back post double crochets. Okay. Now we are going to work the foundation for our first cable. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to work a half double crochet right in the top of that next stitch. Now we are going to work three front post double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to do that two more times. Again, half double crochet worked into the top loops of the stitch and then three front post double crochets. Don't worry if this doesn't match the basket weave because we are departing from the basket weave for these cable stitches and you'll understand this as we go. Okay, and we're going to do that again. Half double crochet in the next stitch and then three front post double crochets. Okay, now let's take a look at what we've done so far. Just as a review, half double crochet, again worked in the top loops, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post. So we have three sets of the three front post with a half double crochet in between. Now we're going to do this one more time, half double crochet and then three front post double crochets. Now do pay attention here. I am not going to work another half double crochet, but instead this is the center of our scarf. We are going to continue the basket weave. So we're going to work two front post double crochets because again, it's time to reverse it and then two back post double crochets and then two front post double crochets. Okay, now we're going to go right into working the foundation for the other cable. We're not going to use a half double, but we're going to go right into three front post double crochets 
and then a half double worked into the top loops. We're going to do this three more times. I'll do this with you. Three front post double crochets. followed by a half double crochet worked into the top loops and let's do that a couple more times three front post double crochets a half double and one more time three front post double crochets and then a half double so you should have, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have the two, two, and two for the basket weave. And if you wanted to use stitch markers, you can mark them out. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so now we come to the last six stitches and the turning chain. We're going to continue on with the basket weave. Two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and two more back post double crochets, and a half double worked into that turning chain. Let's take a look at what we have. Now that might be a little confusing, so let me get some stitch markers and I will help you mark where these stitches change so that you can understand where we're going from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark what we just completed. So I'm going to mark the half double crochet right here because this kind of separates the um, basket weave section from the beginning of the first cable. And let's go ahead and mark um, the first cable. So the first cable is going to start with this half double and it's going to be the, these three front posts. So that's one, two, three. There's four sections here. The basket weave begins. I'm going to mark the point where the basket weave begins, which is right here. Let me go ahead and take a look to make sure I mark that correctly. So we have one, two, three, four of these sections, and then that's the middle basket weave. And let's go ahead and mark the last um, basket weave stitch in the center. So these are the center stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and mark, mark that one, just so that we know that, that is the basket weave. And let's go ahead and we know that the last six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, are the basket weave. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark this half double that divides that last cable. So looking at it this way, you can see that this is helpful, uh, especially now at the beginning. Once you get started and complete more of the cabling, it will be very intuitive, very visual. It'll be hard to miss, I promise. But right now in the early stages, this will help us tremendously. So let's go on to the next row. This will be row number 10. And for the record, the front side of this design will always be the odd numbered rows. Okay, so now let's go ahead and chain two for row number 10. And again, just to reiterate with the basket weave, we're working this in sets of two. So we see a front post double crochet. We will work front post double crochets over those first two stitches. And the next two stitches, we're going to work two back post double crochets, one in each stitch, of course, and then two more front post double crochets. Okay, so now we are continuing on the foundation of this cable. So let's go ahead and we're going to work a half double crochet worked into the top loops of that half double crochet. I'm just going to leave the stitch marker there. It's not going to bother anything, but it will be a visual reminder of what we're doing. Now the next three stitches are going to be back post double crochets. See with row 10, 
we are working with the back side facing. So we will be working a lot of back post doubles and then half double crochet worked into the top loop of the half double. And we're going to do that over the next three little sections, three back post double crochets, followed by a half double crochet worked into the top loops. For those of you who've never worked these style of stitches with me, these are stitch, um, stitches that I've developed and um, the half double crochets act as um, a kind of a recessed part of the fabric that help to further define the cabling. And you'll see that as this pattern develops. Three more back post double crochets. And again, a half a double. And we know that with the, the stitch marker here that we still have three more stitches, three more back post double crochets. And now we're going to go right into the basket weave. And again, continuing on with what we see. So we work a back post in those next two back post double crochet and then two front post double crochets followed by two more back post double crochets. Let's just pause a second. I'll show you the other side once I finish, but this is what you should have so far. Now we're ready to work over the other um, cable. So let's go ahead and what do we have to do? We're going to skip that. Go ahead and work three. We're not skipping anything. I'm just pushing this out of the way just to let you know because the um, half double crochet does not come until um, towards the end. It's at the nor near the beginning and near the end of each um, row. Okay, so we have three back post double crochets and a half double. And we're going to repeat that three more times. Three back post double crochets and a half double okay so I worked in that half double crochet and let's do three more back post double crochets and a half double where that stitch marker is. And now we're ready to work the six basket weave, those two stitches. So two front post double crochets, two back post double crochets, and two front post. And the row ends with a half double crochet worked into that turning chain. This is what the back side looks like. Let's take a look at the front because the front side will look a little more interesting. So you can see now that these columns that are going to turn into beautiful cables are starting to get a little thicker. Now to begin row 11, we're going to chain two and we have two rows of the basket weave so it's time to change again. So basically whenever the front side of the work is facing you are going to change the direction of the basket weave. So we have two front post double crochets and two back post double crochets and two more front post double crochets. Okay, now we're going to work a half double in that next half double. Now this is the row where it's going to get a little bit interesting. We're going to start crossing our cables. But before we do that, we're going to turn this little set 
of three front posts. This is going to be um, just a column for now. So we're going to work three front post double crochets there. Half double, worked into half double. Now we're going to cross these two columns. And let me show you how we're going to do this. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, half double, and that next half double. We're going to work three front post treble crochets, one in each of the next three post stitches. So one, and I'll try to hold my thumb back so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and after we've done that, we're going to work in front of these four stitches and we're going to work front post treble crochets in those three stitches that we just skipped. Just like that, and that half double in the next half double. And then three more front post double crochets. Okay, now we get to the center basket weave section again. And again, front side is facing, so we are going to reverse the direction of those basket waves. Let me go ahead and catch that strand again. So two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and two back post double crochets. Okay, notice I'm just leaving these stitch markers in just to be a visual marker here. The other one is back here. Let me go ahead and push it towards the front just to keep as a visual reminder of what the sections are. You can move them as you go, but it really is not necessary unless you really find that it is for your personal you know, desire. Okay, so now we are ready to work on the next cable, which is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be the opposite of what we just did, but let me show you how we're going to do this. This is going to be two crossed cables, so we're going to skip the next three stitches half double and that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, working in front of those stitches, we are going to front post treble in those three stitches that we just skipped. And I'll show this to you once I finish. Let's go ahead half double in the next half double crochet. Okay. So I did cross one of these. And again, I know this is doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but it will come together the more we do. It will be easier to see. Okay, so now we're going to skip three more stitches and half double in the next stitch. And this is going to look really odd, but that's okay. Front post treble crochet in the next three stitches. I'm trying to not use my thumb there just so that you can see what I'm doing with the strands, although it really does help me to hold those on with my thumb. All right, so working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And half double in that half double. Okay, and now we are onto the last six stitches. We're reversing 
the direction again since we have the front side facing yes I realize I am repeating myself okay so now we do two back posts it's just part of teaching is to repeat again and again until it just becomes pretty natural to what you're doing and two front post double crochets half double worked into that turning chain and let's take a look at what we have so we should have a column here these two columns should be crossed into a cable and then a column then we have the um, six stitches with the basket weave in the middle a crossed cable cross cable with the two columns here two columns there and then the six stitches of the basket weave well let's keep on going so the next row which is row 12 we're going to chain two and again back side facing just go ahead and work the basket weave in the direction that's established so two back post two front post and two back post double crochets now if you're watching a repeat of this this could vary just continue on in you know two stitches two stitches I'm sorry two rows two rows two rows to maintain this pattern so if you're watching a replay and it says to do the opposite of this just go with your intuition and just maintain the stitch pattern of these rows for the basket weave you should probably understand it fairly well at this point okay so now we're going to work a half double crochet in that next stitch now working across these next three stitches we're going to work three back post double crochets and worked in between the last stitch and the next stitch this is the center where these this cable crossed we work a half double crochet just like that and then three more back post double crochets now we did just add in a stitch here at the half double but we are skipping this half double from the previous row thereby maintaining a constant stitch count mathematically okay half double and that next half double and then we do this again three back post double crochets and in between last stitch and the next stitch we work a half double crochet that's the center of where this cable has crossed and then three more back post double crochets skip the next stitch and then we're to our center basket weave and since we have the back side facing we are just going to do what we see we see two front posts do front post two back post work two back post double crochets and incidentally it's going to be for the most part uh, double crochet front post or back post double crochets the only time that we're going to use treble crochets is when we cross the cables that's when we use those front post treble crochets just to be clear and then we work two more front post double crochets that brings us to the back side of the next cable we just start with three back post double crochets half double in the half doubles worked into the top and then over the next cable three back post double crochets half double worked in between that last stitch and next stitch which is the center of the cable and three more back post double crochets so even though this project looks complicated 
if you take it row by row, step by step, it really breaks down very simply, I believe. Okay, we're skipping this half double and working a half double in the next stitch, half double. And then three more back post double crochets. Half double in the next half double. And we come to the last six stitches. Again, just maintaining what you see with the back side facing. Two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and then two back post double crochets, and a half double worked right into that final chain. Again, this is the back side. Doesn't look like too much here, but when you look at the front side, it's starting to come together a little bit better. All right, so let's go on to row 13. Um, row 13 and 14 are gonna be very similar. Let me go ahead and start you on this. Again, front side is facing. We're gonna reverse the direction of all the basket weaves. So we're gonna change this to two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and two more back post double crochets. Half double worked into the top loops. Okay, and now as we go across all of the cabling patterns, we're just going to work front post wherever there is a front post and a half double in the tops of the half double crochets. And let me show you how this looks across the cable. Three front post double crochets. I am speeding up a little bit, yes. Half double. If you ever need to slow me down and you're watching on the YouTube um, platform, there is a way to slow down the video. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you may have to stop the video. There's a little gear-shaped item. If you click on that, it will bring up a playback speed and you can slow this down considerably if you want to. If you get really bored and want to speed it up, you can do that too on your cell phone. It should be little three little vertical dots. If you click on that, that is also the playback speed. Um, it'll bring up a menu and you can select what you want to do. Slow it down, speed me up, whatever. So I hope that is helpful. Again, this is just on the YouTube platform. All right, so that's how this looks when you're working those front post double crochets and the half doubles in between. And again, coming to the basket weave, we're reversing it with the front side facing, so two front post double crochet, two back post, and two front post double crochets. And as we come to the other cables, it really is the same. We're working three front post double crochets, half double, make sure you get it into the right stitch. I was tempted to put it into a post stitch there for a second. And then three more front post double crochets. Three more front post doubles. And a half double. The next stitch. Again, be very careful. You get the right stitches there. And then three more. There we go. Front post double crochets. Half double. And then we reverse the basket weave on those last six stitches. And 
and half double worked in that last stitch. And now let's take a look. They are starting to look like something. Okay, so we can see these, and once we start crossing them back and forth, um, it will it will show up even nicer. All right, so let's go ahead to the next row. This is row 14, chain two, and I am just going to talk you through this one because I'm going to speed up the instruction just a little bit as we go here. Uh, again, we're going to continue on with um, what we see on the basket weave sections, front two front posts, two back posts, two front posts, and don't forget the half double crochets. Let's talk about that just for a minute. The half double crochets, um, let me just be clear, there's one here. We've talked about this before, but I just wanted to review. There's one here, 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 and here. There is not one in the center, and there's a mathematical reason for that. And then there's one here, 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 and on this side. So another way to say this, there is a half double crochet on this side in between the basket weave, and there's one here between the basket weave and the cables. There are none in between these two stitches, okay? Just to be clear. And so as we go across for row number 14, after we complete the basket weave stitches, just maintaining what you see, we're going to work three back post double crochets, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post, and then two back post, two front post, two back post on the basket weave section, and then again directly three back post, half double, back post, half double, three, one, three, one half double, and then two back post, I'm sorry, two front post, two back post, two front post, and that chain two at the end of the row. So go ahead and work row 14. So this is what you should have after completing 14 rows. Now for rows 15 and 16, they're going to be an, pretty much a repeat of rows 13 and 14. The only difference is with the basket weave, you're going to start with front post double crochets, back post double crochets, front post double crochets here. All the section here, you're going to work a half double and a half doubles, front post double crochets over the column sections with the half doubles in between. And when you get to the basket weave here, it's going to be two back posts, two front posts, two back posts. Again, with the front post over the cabling section with the half doubles in between, and then front post, back post, and, and front post double crochets over the basket weave section. And when you turn, you will just um, maintain whatever you see on the basket weave and work back post double crochets for row 16. So go ahead and complete rows 15 and row 16. This is what you should have after completing 16 rows. Now it is time to cross the cables again, and I'll just explain this before we go on to row 17. We're going to cross these two columns, and we're going to cross these two, and these two again. As we go across, and just the same way that we cross them back down on row 11. Alright, so we're going to chain two. And again, reversing the direction since the first, uh, the front side is facing us, we reverse the direction of the basket weave. And again, if you're watching a replay of this for continuing support, the direction of the basket weave may be different, um, but just make sure that you're continuing on with the, you know, two stitch repeat of the basket weave throughout this project but everything else should be the same as you repeat on the following rows. Okay, so we work a half double crochet in the half double. And again, we're just gonna cross these two over here. So this continues to be a column. And we're gonna get this involved in the cabling a little bit later. Half double in that half double. And now it's time to cross these cables 
for these two columns, skip the next three stitches, half double, and then half double, front post treble crochet in the next three stitches. I'll try to leave my thumb out of the way again for you. All right, working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch in that order. Just like that, half double in the next half double, front post double crochet in the next three stitches. So just to reiterate, the front post trebles are only used when crossing these cables. And now we come to the basket weave and we reverse the direction to two front post double crochets, two back post double crochets, and then two front post double crochets. And now for the other cable, we have two cables to cross. Skip the next three stitches, half double in that next stitch, front post treble crochets in the next three stitches. Working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. It's a lot of fun um, watching these stitches come together with those little pieces of Donegal in the yarn. I think this is going to be beautiful, a beautiful tweed scarf. Okay, half double in that next stitch. Skip the next three stitches, half double in the next stitch. There we go. And then front post treble in the next three stitches. And working in front of those last four stitches. We're going to front post treble into three stitches that we just skipped. Half double in that next stitch. And then again, reversing the direction of these last six basket weave stitches. So that's two back post two front post and two more back post. Half double and then half double crochet. All right, now we're on to the next row. We're going to chain two, one, two, and again, maintaining the basket weave, two front post, two back post, and then two more front post, double crochets. And this will be very much like the row we worked that was following the last time we crossed the cables. We work a half double crochet and a half doubles and working. Um, this is the back side of the cable. Back post double crochet over the next three stitches. Half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch is the center of the cable. And then back post double crochet in the next three stitches. 
So we're going to skip this half double crochet, but we're going to half double crochet in this one. This is the one in between the two cables. And then again on the next cable, three back post double crochets. And in between where those cables, that cable crossed, half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch, and then three more back post double crochets. Skip this half double, and then we're going right into the back post, two back post double crochets, working the, the center basket weave two front post and then again two back post double crochets I'm going to talk you through the rest of this then we're going to do three back post half double three back post half double in between the last stitch and next stitch which is the center of the cable three back post skip this half double, half double in this stitch, and then again three back post double crochets, half double, and then we do two front post, two back post, two front post, and a half double in the turning chain. So go ahead and finish out this row. This is what you should have after completing 18 rows. Now let me explain to you what we're going to do on row 19. We're going to do another row where we're crossing the cables. And what we're going to do is we are going to cross this column that's kind of hidden here. This column and this column are going to cross. This column and this column are going to cross. So you're going to end up forming two cables here while over here we are going to make this section into a column much like this one was here and this column and this column are going to cross and this is going to form just a straight column. So what we're doing is we're transitioning what you see on this side is now going to appear over here and what you see on this side will begin to appear over here and it's going to alternate as the scarf grows. Okay? I know sometimes it just helps to have a map and not just a piece of a map, but kind of a bigger map, like the old days where we had paper maps so that we know exactly where we're going. And I just, just want to try to cast a little bit of a vision there for us as we go forward. So for row 19, we're going to chain two. And again, front side facing, time to reverse the direction of the basket weave. So we start with two front post double crochets, two back post double crochets and then two front post double crochets. Well, let's get it around the correct stitch. There we go. Half double and then half double. Okay, so now this is where we have to really pay attention. So I'm going to skip the first three stitches, half double in the next stitch, and then we're going to front post treble and the next three stitches. Okay, now working in front of the last four stitches that we just finished, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. just like that. Half double and the next half double. And again, it's going to take a minute or take a few minutes before this makes more sense. Skip the next three stitches. Let's just wrap the hook once. Half double and the next half double. Front post treble in the next three stitches. Half 
Now working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor this into the next, okay, the basket weave. I'll do two back post. Let's just pause a minute and look at the this cable. Okay, so this is what this section should look like. Okay, continuing on with the basket weave, we are reversing the direction. And now on to the next cable. We're converting the two cables into a one with the two columns on the side. So we're going to do the columns first. Three front post double crochets. Half double. And that next half double. Skip the next three stitches. And a half double in that next stitch. Front post trebles in the next three stitches. And working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three, whoops, in the three stitches. Let's try that one again. There we go. Accidentally looped another strand over here. Half double, the next half double, and then three front post double crochets. And then I'm going to do a half double. And let's pause and take a quick look at how these two cables are now converting to one cable with the columns on the side. Again, this will be more pronounced the more rows we complete. And let's go ahead and complete row 19 with the two front post double crochets, two back post double crochets, and the two front posts, double crochets. And a half double worked into that chain two turning chain. And let's take a look at the entire thing. All right, now for row number 20, I'm gonna just talk you through this one. This is the row where we, again, we are just maintaining the basket weave, so back two back posts, two front posts, two back posts, that half double crochet, and working with the only button with the back side um, facing us, we're going to have three back post, half double, three back post, half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch, which is going to be the center of the cable, three back post, half double, three back post, and then doing the Basket weave, two front post, two back post, two front post, and then again over the the um, cabling, three back post, half double in between the last stitch and next stitch, three back post, half double in the center, half double, three back post, half double in between where the crossing of the cable is, just like we did uh, several times already, and then three back post. And again, skipping this uh, half double and only working in the next half double. And then two back posts, two front posts, two back posts, and a half double crochet. So go ahead and finish row number 20. This is what you should have after completing 20 rows. Now for rows 21, 22, 23, and 24, we're going to repeat rows 13 and 14 two times and I will give you um, 
just a quick explanation. So we're just maintaining the basket weave, again, reversing it when the front side is facing, um, going with what you have um, when the back side is facing. We're going to be just working front post double crochets over the post stitches with the necessary half doubles where they appear as we go across. That would be for row 21 and row 23 for rows um, 22 and 24. It's simply going to be working with the back side facing and again it's pretty much the same just making sure that you work back post double crochets over these columns and continuing on with the half double crochets in between. And just as a reminder, whenever the back side is facing, you just go with what you see. Um, and just again, maintaining the two stitch alternation with all of the basket weave. So go ahead and complete rows 21 through 24. And if you need additional stitch support as to what um, row 13 and 14 look like, just look across the bottom of the screen and I'll put a little uh, time mark where you can go back to those rows to take a look should you need that stitch support. But don't forget to come back at the end of row 24 to continue working the pattern. This is what you should have after 24 rows. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. Now we're going to go on to row 25. But before I do, let me show you what we're going to do. I will, I'll talk you through it. We're going to cross these two um, columns and these two columns. And we're going to cross these two columns on this side and just continue on in just straight up and down columns for these two. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the chain two. And again, we're going to reverse what we see because we have the front side facing with those two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and then two more back post double crochets. And now let's work that half double right there. And now we're going to cross these two cables. So skip the next three stitches, half double, and that next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches. Working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. Okay, then we're going to half double in that next half double, and then we're going to cross this cable again, skip the next three, half double in that next half double. And again, with the three front post treble crochets. And then working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. brings us to the center basket weave and again reverse what you see so we work two front post double crochets two back post double crochets two front post double crochets and the other side of that other cable we're just going to work three front post doubles on that column, half double crochet in that next stitch, and now crossing these next two columns, let's skip these 
three stitches, half double in that next stitch, and front post treble in the next three post stitches. Working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And half double, the next half double. Front post double crochets in the next three stitches. Half double, and that next half double, and again reverse the basket weave. We're going to work two back post double crochets, two front post, and follow that with two more back post double crochets. half double worked in that turning chain. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, let's go on to row 26. I'm going to turn chain two and again continuing on with the basket weave. Actually, let me just go ahead and talk you through this one since we've done this row a couple of times already. So we're going to work two back posts, two front posts, just see what you have with the back side facing, just maintain that. And then we're going to work half double in the half double crochet, and then working across three back post double crochets, half double, three back post, and then again you're going to work a half post in between the last and the next stitch, which is the center of the cable, three more back post, skip this half double, half double crochet here and then three more back post doubles and again with the um, basket weave two back post two front post two back post and the back side of the next cable we're going to work um, we go three back post double crochets half double in between the last and the next stitch which is the center of the cable three more back post double crochets skip this half double half double in the center in between and then three more back post half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch three more back post doubles half double and then front post two front post two back post two front post and a half double in that turning chain so go ahead and complete row 26. This is what you should have completed after rows 1 through 26. Okay, now we're at the part where you just need to repeat from row 11, which was the first time we crossed the cables down here. So this section up here will be returning to a one cable section. So these two um, columns will be the ones crossing and this section will be returning to a two cable um, motif crossing these two cables or columns and these two columns. So what I'm going to have you do is repeat rows 11 through 26 until you're approximately an inch or two from the desired length of your scarf. Now after we complete I will I will put the number of repeats right down here that you need to complete the scarf the way I am demonstrating. But what we are going to do if you decide you want your scarf smaller or larger, you just keep repeating this 16 row motif and then we will return to the basket weave which is approximately an inch and a half. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you Repeat those. If you need additional stitch support, look across the bottom of the screen and I will have the time mark where you can go back to row 11 and then just follow along. And after doing my calculations, I believe that the basket weave should be the same since it is a multiple of four rows 
um, it should be the same throughout. So enjoy that and I will show you how to transition back to the basket weave once I complete my repetitions of these cables. Okay, after completing 13 complete repetitions of the cabling pattern, I have gone ahead and worked two rows where I just work the front uh, post or the back post double crochets over the post stitches without crossing so that I can return back to a straight edge. And this is going to be the row that we now return to the ribbing. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. So just to go back to the very beginning, this is the basket weave ribbing that we are going to be returning to to end this scarf. So now returning back to the basket weave, the two stitch basket weave ribbing, we are going to start with the cabling looking like this. And again, front side facing, we're going to reverse the direction of the weave. Start with two back post double crochets, followed by two front post double crochets. And then two additional back post. Okay, now this is where we are going to return. We're going to have to pay attention that we do two stitches at a time. So we've had two back posts, so the next two stitches are going to be front posts. So we're going to bring that half double crochet back in. So two front post, and then two back post. And again, two front posts. And don't forget that half double crochet. If you do, you'll have to come back and, and pick that up because you will be short stitches. Okay, and then two back posts, double crochets. And again, two front posts. And then we're going to follow that with two back posts. And you do want to be sure that you are alternating this carefully as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and do just a couple more because this should match up with the next few stitches. Okay. And then two back posts. And now two front posts, and that does work. These are the the basket weave that we've worked throughout the middle of this project. So this does does work out, which is always a good thing. Okay, two back post, and again two front post, and then I'm going to continue just to work that alternating all the way across, and I will show you how it connects up with the last six stitches. Okay, I've continued to alternate this across that other cable, and now we have two front post double crochets, which includes that half double, and then that brings us to the last six stitches, and this does work out, yay! Two back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, and two more back post. And then a half double crochet worked into that turning chain. Let's go ahead and pause and see how this looks. After this row, we're going to work an additional seven more rows using the two stitch basket weave alternating it just the way we've been all along. So we're going to chain two and with the back side facing you just go with what you see. If you see a front post double crochet work a front post. If you see a back post 
work a back post and when you're working with the front side facing let's go ahead and flip that for a second so when you're working with the front side facing this is when you are going to reverse so again front side with the cabling facing whenever you work across the ribbing for these rows you're going to reverse what you see okay so go ahead and finish those last seven rows after working this all the way across let me just give you a good look this is what the back side facing we're going to go ahead and give it a chain and a tug and I'm going to cut a generous strand and we are done. Let's go ahead and show you with the front side facing and you see how that basket weave interfaces with the cables that we just completed. All right, let me give you a quick tutorial on how to hide these loose strands, I am using my my yarn needle. There we go. And I like to do this with, as you guessed, the back side facing. So I'm just going to bring this into my stitches. The, the, there's not just one way of doing this, but I'm just demonstrating how you can do this. Okay, and the goal here is to weave these into the stitches so that this loose strand no longer shows in the work and also so that this strand will not pull out of the work and become a problem. So I'm going to weave this in a couple of rows down. Uh, that's helpful. Let's go ahead and rethread that. There we go, just a little bit further. And once I go down one direction, I'd like to go back up the opposite direction. Kind of helps the stitch or, or the, the strand to, to be a bit more secure. Again, there's no one particular way of doing this. Okay, I think that is going to be sufficient. And I give a little tug back so that once I clip it, you know, the thing doesn't show and, uh, immediately. All right, so clip close to the work, but be careful that you don't trim those beautiful stitches. Okay, so we are done. Let's go ahead and I'm give you another really good look at this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed making Rahab's scarf with me today. If you did, I would love to hear from you. Please post in the comment section below. God bless. Bye-bye.